What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This video is brought to you guys by Wondershare and we're taking a look at their Filmora 9 application. Now this allows you to do just about anything you need on both your Windows and Mac when it comes to video editing. You can have up to 100 layers and of course it supports everything from keyframing to of course going ahead and adding your usual effects and whatnot. They also have a full on site over here uh, known as filmstocks.com where you can get yourself some stock photos, stock images, and even some stock effects that you can simply pull right into the application which is right here. So so what exactly am I able to do? So right now I have a timeline and the first thing you need is some footage. So I drag some footage of California in here, but unfortunately this footage is from Instagram, so it's not the highest quality. But what I can do right now is go ahead and add in some footage that does match the aspect ratio. So I'm gonna go into my videos and let's find some footage that matches this particular aspect ratio. And most of my footage is for Instagram. So let's see, I think I like this particular video and I'm simply gonna drag that in. All right, and this one is pretty cinematic, so I'm actually gonna get rid of this other footage that I had inside of here. So let's get rid of this. And now we have our shot, which looks pretty solid. It looks really, really cool. And this is Key Biscayne inside of Florida. So what exactly are we able to do now? So I'm going to go ahead and click this particular thing. And now we want it to fit inside of my full on aspect ratio. So I'm actually going to go and double click this particular video. And now I'm going to scale it up just a little bit so it fits inside of this frame. Inside of here, you also have a variety of other options. For, you can, for example, you can go ahead and uh, composite it. So you can add a color burn effect or you can go and add a color dodge effect and that way whatever footage is underneath it is going to leak through just a little bit so i'm going to go and as you can see uh, i don't know if this effect looks great at the moment but it is something cool you can use when it comes to transitions and maybe your video editing needs compositing is not something i mess with too too often but something i do use all the time is stabilization so inside of here you can add stabilization and then you can add the smoothness level depending on how much you need now this is drone footage so it's already pretty stable i'm not going to do that at the moment but it is possible should i need to we can also go ahead and chroma key inside of here which means you can add your green screen footage and then whatever is the particular color inside of that shot will get taken out so for example if you have a green background it'll get rid of that green background which is really really cool they also have lens correction and drop shadow and even an auto enhance feature that goes and uh, fixes your footage to the best of its ability. I'm going to jump out of here real quick and now we want to go and mess with some of the things that they have built into the platform which is what makes this platform what it is. As you guys can see here we have a bajillion audio, uh, audio options, title options, transitions, effects, elements and even a mode for split screening which is something I haven't seen in other applications but I think is really really useful especially if you're something like a gaming YouTuber or something of those sorts and they have some really interesting split screen options in here so that's a big thing that I want to show you guys right off the of bat now inside of here there's a variety of stock audio in here already so maybe we want to add some music directly onto this I'm gonna go ahead and actually mute my particular audio at the moment now I'm just gonna take this song by light years I'm gonna add it onto my audio track and now I have music on my footage which is really really cool let's go and add that right there and now all right, so that's hiding down here, and now I can go ahead and mess with the audio as well. I can raise this decibels, and I can make it fade in, fade out, mess with the pitch, the equalizer, set it to sparkle, which is interesting, and even remove background noise all with the click of a button, which is really, really awesome. I'm going to hit OK on that. And next off, let's check out some of the titles. You see our YouTube video kind of starts off with, like, literally nothing. It just kind of blinks into existence. So what if we want to go ahead and add a really interesting title here that goes with the aesthetic of our video? Um, here are a variety of options, but I think this one would go well with this video, so I'm going to go and drag it right here I'm gonna drag my footage directly underneath and now get this I have this really cool looking intro transition and I can double click this and I can go and edit it in any way I want let's say the text doesn't really match up I can go ahead and add this text instead I can select this text and change that one to that and of course I can go ahead and change the actual text to whatever I need maybe the color the spacing it's basically a little version of Photoshop built right into this particular application which is really really cool next off we need some transitions you see I have a clip over here and I have a clip over here but we need to go from this clip to that clip so what exactly would we do as you guys can see here I'm simply gonna uh, see what I can do with all these different interesting transitions and how to make it nice and smooth so they have some professional transitions in here and then they have some kind of interesting quirky transitions they might want to use for YouTube or something of those sorts for example this here I'm gonna go uh, let me drag this footage down a bit actually and now I'm just gonna borrow this particular frame right here and uh, let's jump on here. Sorry if my computer is stuttering. We're running a bajillion different programs at the moment. Let me click over here. 
I'm going to drag this over here and let's go ahead and see what this particular transition looks like. There you go. So you can add a title on top of that or something of those sorts. And all of a sudden this one's pretty quirky. So we're actually going to go and maybe change this one to something a bit more simple. So inside of here, they have them, you know, in speed blur, they have ripple and dissolve 3d transitions. I think speed blur might look really cool. And so I'm going to go and drag this one onto here and let's see what that looks like. And there you go, that's the transition over there. And they have a billion different transitions and you can find the exact transition you need for your particular video. All right, so the next thing we can take a look at is effects. So of course I can go ahead and drag any of these effects onto here. There's auto enhance in Arizona, but for a dramatic feel, I'm just gonna go and drag the Arizona directly onto here. And as you can see, it turned my footage completely purplish, which is really, really insane. Now you can use this as kind of a layer as well. So if you want this to match over the course of all these different types of videos, you can go ahead and do that, which I think is really cool. Premiere doesn't let you do that. You need to literally make an adjustment layer, but here it just automatically creates the adjustment layer, which I think is really, really awesome. When okay on this I don't need this at the moment so I am gonna go ahead and delete it and I'm gonna show you guys the final thing I want to show you which is elements now these are more for you know maybe like business type videos and whatnot they add symbols they add download buttons maybe a mic button and so we might want to add this maybe like permalink video or permalink option and basically what this does is it downloads a quick little animation that you can toss directly into your video and then you're able to use that wherever you need so what exactly am I capable of doing here well let's go ahead and do actually I'm not sure if that one's downloaded these are already downloaded so I'm actually gonna use these all right that's dragged in and just like that it's a cool little animation that you can serve as a transition or maybe like a part one part two of the video and whatever you need it looks pretty cool so all in all guys it's got everything you could possibly need it's a quick editing tool but at the same time it has the ability to go ahead and of course add effects and of course add titles and maybe even split screen and I think it's the ultimate tool for youtubers who are trying to create a quick video that's gonna look really really cool but at the same time you're not trying to waste too too much time I don't know keyframing each individual animation or something when you can simply drag and drop an animation onto here instead on all guys hopefully you enjoyed this video so leave a like and don't forget to subscribe thank you guys for watching this is going to be me logging off